Right, so this is the bathroom. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Ever since Sonia moved in eight years ago, the damp has got worse and worse. I've reported it to the council. Oh, it's absolutely sopping. Yeah, right. soaking wet. And what you'll just have to imagine is just how moist the air is in here. It's mm. like being in a swimming pool, except without that clean chlorine smell. Quite the opposite. Yeah. She's homeschooling her seven-year-old, Jamali, in the living room that doubles as their bedroom. Both of them now have asthma. My little one, he can't sleep properly, he's scared to go to the toilet because with the, the ants and everything around the place, because we had powder everywhere. Um, I'm crying most of the time. I, I just don't feel comfortable here. I try to make it feel comfortable, but how can you if you've got so many stuff living in one room? Nine days ago, a coroner ruled toddler Awab Ishak died from exposure to mould in his home in Rochdale. It has stung the government into action, with the association which ran Awab's block of flats stripped of a million pounds it was due to get for new housing, and other social housing providers warned they face the same punishment. There's also new money to crack down on rogue private landlords. Every single roof has had to be um, replaced. because Kwejo Twenoboa took on the landlords of his estate and has now become a champion of tenants' rights. What if housing associations say this will make them even more strapped for cash? Well, I don't think that's an excuse um, because we look at the housing associations, you look at the surpluses that they make and often it's in the tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions in some cases. So it's not an excuse that they don't have the funding, it's their priorities and they've been getting it wrong for a very long time. Builders are coming to investigate Sonia's bathroom leak tomorrow, but she has become used to disappointment. They're not really doing anything really to me. It comes like the place is a museum and they're coming to take pictures to me. That's how, that's how it feels. The chins all go rusty. Ministers have finally woken up to these squalid conditions tens of thousands of tenants have put up with for years. But with a dire shortage of social housing, there are no easy or cheap solutions. Catherine Jones, Five News.